Having a big wedding ceremony can be your childhood dream, but have you considered how much will it actually cost you to organize it? An event called the Big Welsh Wedding Show was held last Sunday in Cardiff for people who are thinking about having a wedding. A reporter, Hyle Adam, went out there to find out more. Marriage can be a very special way of commitment for many women and men. But what is more important for some people is having an unforgettable wedding day. Although the average cost of organizing a celebration in Wales is £30,000, many people might spend that amount of money on a dream wedding rather than a house. A wedding dress, catering, a beautiful hair and a wedding cake are some of the details that make a perfect day. But you shouldn't forget to entertain your guests too. Depending on the kind of act you hire, uh, if you were to hire a DJ, it would cost about £400. If you were to hire a band for the evening, it would cost anything between £900 right up to maybe £2,000. The same thing happens a lot in weddings, so people are always looking for the next thing that will set their wedding apart. I think that's why people are prepared to spend so much money on weddings. The next step after getting married is usually buying a house. The average house price in Wales is £150,000, so it's worth considering if you want to spend your savings on a house or a wedding. It's obviously about love, but it's about commitment, so however even when we are together, there's no ring or whatever, we're committed to each other, but in the eyes of the law, not the law, the law, um, it's not, so you're not, you know, you still put single down on your marital status. And I think, no, I'm not single, I'm with somebody and I, should, and I want to tell everybody about that. Personally, um, nobody in my family has ever been married, so I'm going to be the first. Uh, so it's a big step for me and the family and everything. Um, but no, I'd prefer a house. But <laughs> <laughs> Although the general view is that women are more interested in having a big wedding, it's not always the case. I think it's very to your own thing. Personally, I can't justify spending lots of money because it's, it's not really me. I'd rather have like a fun, relaxed day, a big party is more my priority. But then if people want to spend lots on their wedding, it is only one day, so. For many people, their wedding day is a once in a lifetime experience. But exactly for that reason, it may not be the best investment. This dress you see behind me is actually £1,700. And don't forget that you'll only get to wear it one day in your lifetime. And this is one of the many expenses you have to consider before planning a wedding. So whether you want to spend your life savings into a wedding or a house is completely up to you.